Hey guys, I'm a forester here with a very quick video. It's still dark 30. I think it's about five o'clock, but I wanted to bring you a quick cell phone video. I did one earlier this weekend, a couple of days ago on my top 10 knives. And that may give a misconception because you might think those are the knives that I carry all the time and they're not. I do carry them. I carry them. Uh, I think I said I carried each one of those at least once in the past 30 days. But these are the knives that I carry all the time, or carry the most. First one that I'm going to show you, all of you are familiar with, the Victorinox Cadet. And I carry that. Uh, these are my top 10 in order from 10 to number 1. I'm putting that in the, at uh, the number 10 slot. I do carry it. I carry it a good bit. Uh, this is number 9. This is my Benchmade Crooked River. Now this one was in the top 10 list, so it's, it's making both. And uh, I do love this one, fits my hand, and I carry it a good bit. Okay, this one was also in my top 10 that I did the other day. This is the Hinderer XM18. You know, it's hard to make these videos with one hand, recording with a cell phone, doing everything one hand and making a, a quality video, but I'm gonna try. Okay, this one was not in my top 10, but it's going to be in my top 10 carried list because I carried this one a good bit over the past month or two. And this is my ZT0801. I really like this one. It's sort of an odd looking knife and it fits my hand, but it's a little short on the handle. But I like the way it flips and uh, I carried it a good bit. Okay, now this is another oddball knife that you haven't seen that much. It's by Artisan Coutelier. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a Laol. And I carried this one a good bit over the past month or two because I ate a lot of steak, and that's my steak knife. Okay, let me stretch over here and bring the top five in. All right, number five is another strange, uh, different knife. It's not strange at all, but this was a gift to me. And from That's Pap's Knife, who I haven't heard from lately. If anybody else has heard from him, let me know. I've sent him an email, asked how he is, and didn't get a response. But this is a small knife. It's a buck. And I'm having a mini Spitfire. It finally came to me. And I really like to carry that knife. Now, the next knife is probably my number one carry knife of all time, probably over the past decade that I've, that I've had it, and it's a Kershaw Skyline. You know, this is just a great all-round knife. I carry this one probably the most of all, but for this list, it's dropped down to number four. Okay, number three is a knife that I carry a lot. You've seen it a lot on my channel, and it was on the top ten knife list. And it's this Benchmade 940. I had sent it back for some work to be done. The spring broke. And they also sharpened it. I'm going to do a follow-up video with this knife in particular. Because I want to uh, put my own edge on it. See if I can do better than the factory edge. I think I can. Now the next two you've seen a lot lately. And I carried them the most of all because they were new knives. And when I get a new knife, I carry it a lot. Now, whether I'll continue carrying, carrying them a lot, we'll just have to wait and see. That's the Emerson Roadhouse. And the other one, and my number one carry for the past month or two, probably more like the past month, is this Spyderco Manix 2. Just got this knife, and I'm really enjoying carrying it. So, the knife video that I made before was of my top 10 knives that I would keep last. If I got rid of my knives, those are the knives that I would keep last. A couple of these are on that list, but this list are the knives that I actually carry the most. Y'all take care.